So guys, welcome back to another video, and today is the day. Team of the season has begun and there are plenty of uploads coming your way. In this video, I'm going to be chatting about the newly released 89 rated Team of the Season, Jamie Vardy. So uh, yeah, Team of the Season hype has begun and I'm really looking forward to getting as many player reviews out as I possibly can. So if you could leave a like on this video, that would be greatly appreciated. And remember to leave a comment, let me know if you've tried this guy, let me know how he performed for you. And also in the comments, let me know which other Team of the Season cards you want me to do a video on. Now for those of you that follow me on Twitter and have been subscribed to this channel for a while, you will know that I absolutely love non-informed Jamie Vardy. It's one of my favourite strikers on FIFA 18 Ultimate Team. So I was really happy to see him get a very nicely boosted Team of the Season card. So let's talk about the in-game attributes on this card. So we don't really need to talk about the pace because we can see that he's absolutely rapid. 97s on both acceleration and sprint speed. In the shooting column, we can see he's got 96 attack positioning, which is awesome. 95 finishing, which is fantastic. And 97 shot power. That is great to see. Long shots are lacking, though. He's only got 77 for that. In the passing column, there's nothing that stands out too much. The vision's decent with 89, and the short passing of 81 isn't too bad. But other than that, there's some pretty average stats in that department. I really would have liked him to have better care because then his finesses would have been even better. In the dribbling zone, we can see 87 agility, 84 ball control, 84 in-game dribbling, and 88 composure. Not too bad there. And finally, in the physical department, we can see he's got 94 stamina, 73 strength, and 99 aggression. So, with the stats out the way, let's chat about how this guy performs in games. So, the first thing I'll say is, he is super fun to use. He is so damn quick. The positioning on this card was brilliant and he was regularly making good runs for me naturally, which as you can imagine, was incredibly pleasing. Jamie Vardy in FIFA does indeed have high high work rates and like I've said many times before in this year's FIFA, I like that in an attacker because it means that they're constantly moving up and down the field, making themselves available. Another thing I liked about this Vardy card was how quick that he would react to situations, whether that be a defensive situation or an attacking situation. On the ball, he feels pretty good. He isn't the most fluid of dribblers, but um, he's good enough with the ball at his feet, although he does take a dodgy touch at times. But nevertheless, on the ball, not too bad. Um, when dribbling in a straight line, he actually can seem unstoppable at times. When it comes to shooting, this guy's a finisher. He's a poacher. He's... He's one of them right place, right time kind of guys. Inside the box, I thought his finishing was excellent. His shot power was great. And cross goal shots were super effective with this card. If you can, though, always shoot with his right foot because, sadly, he does have a freestyle weak foot. And that left foot is pretty unreliable. The passing is pretty average, as you probably could have guessed by looking at the stats. His short passing is good enough for link-up play, but his through balls are poor. So, you know, just don't use him as a playmaking cam. Physically, the guy has terrific stamina, so, you know, he can keep up that high energy all game long. The strength of 73 was actually really good in game, and he battles and shields the ball very well, and obviously that is aided by that 99 aggression of his. It's also worth mentioning he does win a decent amount of aerial battles too. His headers are not the most accurate, but when they're on target, they're normally very powerful. Anyway... It's summary time. We are here at the summary page already. So, what are my overall thoughts on this card? Well, it's really good. He's incredibly fast and very fun to use. He's one of them players who, you know, he's just perfect for counter-attacking football. It's a shame he doesn't have a better weak foot or four-star skills. That would really help this card, in my opinion. But, um, nevertheless, let's move on to the question of the video. Is Team of the Season Vardy worth the coins? And it's hard to say right now because obviously he's only just come out, so he's not going to be cheap. He's currently costing over 400k, which I actually don't think is a bad price for him. But he is going to drop in price. And if he does drop to around or below 200k, I think he's definitely worth picking up and trying. And if you're super rich and have a lot of coins on this game, this guy is an ideal super sub. He could have a great impact off the bench attacking some tired defenders. Anyway guys, 
those are my thoughts on the brand new team of the season, Jamie Vardy card. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to leave a like on it. Comment below if you've tried this guy. And also comment which other team of the season cards you want me to do a video on. Plenty of videos are coming, guys. So keep an eye on the channel. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.